in the future, most people on the planet will be living in big cities. 80% of the world's population will eventually move to big cities. So understanding cities is, is pretty critical. What we've set out to do in Chicago is to provide an instrument that's available to the science community. Now you can put incredible amounts of computing right there where the data is generated and process the data right as it comes in. This is an Array of Things node and there are several uh, great pieces of computing in here. We think of the Array of Things as a Fitbit for the city, a way to automatically measure and understand the performance of the entire urban landscape. Putting sensors in that let us understand what's happening with the air quality, uh, what's happening with traffic, with pedestrian movement, and better understanding where we live. Imagine an intersection that can calculate the trajectory of all the vehicles that are coming at it and notice that one's coming too fast to make it or maybe they're going to blow through a red light. So what we're going to do is hold off on the walk sign and the green light going the other way uh, so that we can avoid an, an accident. Essentially, let all four directions stay red while this car barrels through the intersection. Those kind of calculations are going to require HPC right down on the street corner. There won't be time to send the data back to a server somewhere and wait for the answer. You can make a local decision very quickly. And it never gets transmitted back or saved in some database somewhere. This notion of taking parallel computing and moving it out to the edge and then doing machine learning is very exciting. And it's happening all over the place. When you hold up your cell phone to take a picture, uh, you notice that there's a little yellow box around people's faces, right? That's because your, your phone is recognizing what's in the scene and recognizes where there are faces. And so this loop of being able to train, do machine learning, understand things, and then send that back is a new cycle for high-performance computing.